Joanne Chang and husband Christopher Myers have been making culinary magic together for more than 20 years in one form or another. Chang opened her first flower bakery in 2000, and the pair, along with partner Karen Akunowitz, is marking the 10-year anniversary of their Myers and Chang restaurant this month. To celebrate, Joanne and Karen decided to share some of their best dishes with us lay people in their new book, Myers and Chang at Home. It promises a slew of recipes bursting with flavor that anyone can make at home. But do they honor the promise? Joining me now is Karen Akunowitz, partner and executive chef of Myers and Chang. She's also a three-time James Beard nominee. Karen, it's great to see you. Great to see you Joanne Chang in the middle there is 2016 James Beard Award winner, and Christopher Myers has a beard. So that takes. Care. I mean, it's the best yeah, I could I do on this. So you're churning out cookbooks <laughs> like that didn't take long. Like uh, I don't know, Stephen King churns out criticism of Donald Trump. Why? What? Why? I mean, you're a pretty busy person. Why cookbook after cookbook, Joanne Chang? I love teaching people how to bake and cook. I mean, I, I got bit by the cookbook bug after opening the second flower, which meant that I wasn't in the bakeries every day baking anymore. I was running the businesses. So writing the flower book allowed me to teach people how to bake, but through the book form. And my understanding is, I mean, a lot of instructive stuff that doesn't treat us like idiots, but is instructive. <laughs> this is for people who are not you. Is that not what yeah, the goal absolutely. was here? Yeah, the goal was from the beginning. It was to make sure this was a book that was in your kitchen, getting used, getting splattered with soy sauce, and not just sitting on your coffee table. But what worries it. me a little bit is when you simplify a recipe, and I know you did, so that mere mortals can do it, <laughs> doesn't it lose some of the special Myers and Chang and Akunowitz kind of thing? Or does it, no, I'm serious, does it not? I think that, you know, part of it is making it accessible so you can make it at home, but I always say it's giving you a little bit of the Myers and Chang magic, mm -hmm. a little bit of the glitter and sparkle, and I, I think that we've managed to do that. Um, the testing process is, is pretty phenomenal that Joanne has developed, so we made sure that you're really getting it right on. And what was your role in this exactly? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I don't mean to be critical, no, Chris. Or what, what exactly was your role in this? I'd like to turn <laughs> everyone's attention to the introduction of the book. You are, well, actually, which I, was penned by me. I, it was really, of course. Yes, no. I, also, I just attached my name to it. My my um, sense is, if I can put up a photo, right. I think the reason you were part of this process, there it is, is to show that middle-aged white guys can actually use chopsticks. Is that yeah. not oh, part? You know what? My chopsticks aren't matching. No, that's right. I was very surprised. So, what were you trying that. to convey in the introduction, Christopher Myers? Um, that it, it's the, it's the story of what opening a restaurant is like for the best restaurants usually happen on the back of a BevNap over a couple of late night drinks and uh, and for those and who don't know Chinatown. Radius, Rialto, Via Mata, I mean a whole bunch of all that have been closed down by the by the partners that I left <laughs> the restaurant <laughs> so we're not letting them go like Jody just messed up Rialto Jody, badly. I don't know what she yeah, is but of she um no, but but it, it's a story about what I thought the restaurant was going to be and what it turned out to be. Like, I thought it was going to be the sexiest place in the world. And the first day we opened, there were three baby carriages. And Joanne said, I told you. <laughs> I hear that a lot. So can you tell, Karen and Joanne, tell us, go down the list quickly, what's here. And by the way, everyone is from the cookbook. So tell us what we see. You do have Karen and then Joanne. Can okay. Have. These are Auntie Mia spring rolls. Um, which have been on the menu since opening. They're Joanne's aunt's recipe. Um, these are house-made fortune cookies that um, Flower Bakery makes for us. Estee's hot and sour soup. Uh, Mama Chang's pork and chive dumplings. And? These are the sweet potato fritters that you tried to make as well, I Allegedly. Believe. We even tried to make as, as well. I allegedly did. And you what's allegedly that thing did. This is our nasi goreng. It's an Indonesian fried rice. It's beautiful. And that's our green papaya slaw. Which is your favorite, is it not? Would you like me to do the third half? Uh, <laughs> now, the, the key to this cookbook working, I should say, is, as I said before, that mere mortals can do this, right? So it just happens, even though you were suggesting I might not have done it, that thank you very much. Now, what I would like you to do, now, unfortunately, they're not heated up. They're room temperature. They don't wow. look the same as this. No, they don't. They're, they're but they so are, much better. They're the sweet potato fritters with Chinese sausage. I also made the sauce. So take wow. a chopstick <laughs> and uh, taste oh this gosh. and let me know. And you can be honest, by the way, about whether or not this satisfies the... You have to worry about these two being honest. Can I, can I ask you a question while this is going on? Uh, I asked Joanne about this on the radio. How do you guys feel about delivery services? You know, the Uber Eats and the, the caviars and the whatever. I used them. Uber Eats today. Hold on one second. What did you just say? This is so good. You said pretty good, I think. No, I said, said so, so good. So good. What did you say? Delicious. Is it really? Yes. Yeah. Honestly, really? Did yes. You think so? I'm so proud. I'm did really. I'm so. I'm it, sorry. It so, looks like an orange hockey puck. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, so really good. Uh, is that good or bad? It seems to me. Oh, uh, let's well, see. You tell me. Okay, I think I used Uber Eats today. Hand to God, and it was atrocious. 
Um, so that experience, um, the food got to me well after it's... Well, I mean, is it good, but how's it for your business? It seems to me on one hand, you have somebody who's a stay-at-home type, but the flip side is well, a, you can't a, sell them a drink, which is where you make a, a lot of money. There's a variety of different ways to look at it. One way, is it good for business? It might be. Is it good for the restaurant business? Is it good for our culture? I don't think it is. Do you I, agree I really with that? I don't think it is. Well, whether it is or isn't good for us, it's inevitable at this point. This is what people do. Is they, that really? Was that really good? Tell the truth. Was seriously. It, was it, it really good? Yes. Follow the recipe really in the book. Good. How's TV? <laughs> <laughs> We all know you from Top Chef in addition to this, right? How has TV changed the expectations of people like me, of people like you? Has it or has it not? Oh, I think so. I mean, I think it's made restaurants and cooking and all of that more accessible to people. Um, everyone's a little bit of an expert now, right? It's brought, you know, cooking and restaurant cooking into, into people's homes, um, which I think you can look at either way. It's an awesome thing for people knowing about gochujang or miso or things like that. And... You know, on the other hand, everyone's a bit of an expert now, and that can be challenging as well. What's a trend that you love that's happening in the food world and a trend you absolutely cannot abide, Joanne Chang? A trend that I love. Um, well, I know a bakery trend that I really like What's that? is uh, doing miniature desserts, mini mm. cupcakes, mini cookies. I think when people go into the bakery, they want to indulge in something big, but they won't. But then they'll buy three little things, right essentially here. the same exactly. thing. That's exactly right. But that's something that... Is there a trend you're resisting that you just can't stand or no? A trend that we're resisting? Uh, you know, we, we try not to follow all of the trends. So when the Cronut came out a couple of years ago, <laughs> we said we're not going to do that. We might do our own version of something else, but we didn't want to try to copy that. So uh, you, am I allowed to say what you showed me before, or I shouldn't? Mm -hmm. you, you, sure. you showed me this great selfie video that you took oh, with somebody was, that people may have picture. heard of, Michelle Obama. Uh, yeah. it, Michelle Obama it clearly changed the way a lot of us mm -hmm. eat. Right. And I mean this as a serious question. Right. What impact is Donald Trump having? If and, and he's got, mm -hmm. we're eating more well-done steak and ketchup. I'm serious. Is he, I mean, he's a fast food guy. Is that changing the world or it's not trickling down? If you, if you go to a dinner party, people will tell you they're eating more, they're drinking more, they're even smoking and they stopped smoking 25 years ago. And, uh, and hand to God. I think there's a greater tension and uh, a motive of, like, a motive discomfort that that exists in all of us right now if you watch that speech you gave the other day i think people are just eating more so it's not uh, is that you, you're not in an agreement do you think that's true hanger lot, hanger a lot yeah. more hanger out there i do i do i also think that for eight years we had you know people in the white house who emphasized eating healthy eating food that was raised properly all of that and all of that has gone out the window yeah i hope that's not true so it's 10th anniversary of myers and chang you know what it's the 100th anniversary of this weekend Marshmallow fluff. Could you oh, make anything with Marshmallow? Oh, the Summerville. Yeah. Fest yeah. The festival in Summerville. Tell me you don't like marshmallow fluff. I know. She I, looks very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten marshmallow fluff since, you know, since I was a kid. But I think it's, you know, it's a cool thing. It's a big part of the Summerville I had tradition. Last Is that really I true? I don't Absolutely. doubt it. With what? There's actually with a jar what? in the office. Um, I had it in the jar. <laughs> just say this straight out of the thing. It's delicious. Yeah, it's because of Trump. I know that. Uh, congratulations <laughs> on your 10th anniversary. I love the cookbook. Thank I'm you. so proud. I hope you really meant what you said. Yeah, they're And I'm making more. On to the next recipe. Karen, it's great to see you. Great to see you, too. Joanne, Thanks. as always. Thank you. Christopher, great Those to see you. Those aren't gorgeous. You are. You are, but don't. And so are you, my friend. The book, again, is Myers and Chang at Home.